I would like for you all to understand something. This video is about when the narcissistic person starts to stalk. I did a video about this like two years ago, almost two years ago when I first started doing my videos. People laughed at me. World, World Star Hip Hop got it, laughed at me, posted it, it's all good. I went through that, I'm gonna do it again. When the tables turn in your favor and the narcissistic person is starting to lose, going to lose, going to hurt, going to become very, very toxic, okay? It's going to happen. Whenever you hurt a good person, a good nature person, somebody that's treating you right, somebody that's in your corner, somebody that's not cheating on you, somebody that's helping you take care of your bills, your kids, possibly paying your child support, getting you out of jail, paying your parking tickets. This is for men that, that do this for women too, okay? Whenever you have somebody pouring into you like that and you misuse them, you abuse them, you hurt them, you neglect them, you cheat on them, when those tables turn, your, stri your strength is gone, stripped, gone. 1991, Leon Robert Walker Jr., 25, 26 years old, 24, somewhere in there. Looked at my girlfriend at the time, was like, I don't love you, I don't, I don't even like you anymore. I did that. I did it because we were, we were deploying and I wanted to go overseas and cheat and sleep with exotic Asian women. So if I break up with her now, overseas when I'm having sex with these women, it's not cheating. 100% true, yes. My narcissism was at an all time high, again. Months later, we come back from deployment, she got another guy, boom. Instantly lost my mind. When narcissistic people are doing what they're doing, it's good, it's fun, we're in control, we're in charge, we hurt people, don't care. But when it happens to us, when those tables turn, we're not equipped to deal with the pain, the hurt. We're not equipped to deal with what's coming our way. You now have to embrace your life. You have to embrace your strength. You have to embrace your, the love of yourself. You have to embrace your self-love, your self-respect. Because when those tables are turned, that's God giving you your power back because you didn't want to take your power back from me because you love me so much. So God switched those tables, gave you the power back. Now it's time for you to enjoy your life. What you have to do, you have to put things in place. I'm not talking about boundaries. I'm talking about safety measures. Because when I was stalking my girlfriend for almost a year, I didn't, there was nothing safe about me at all. I got into her apartment, I got into her car, I'm looking through a glove compartment, I'm looking through her drawers, I'm smelling her panties, all of this, I did it all. Went to her job, asked her to marry me, got on one knee, brought flowers, bought a ring from the pawn shop, lost my mind. She told me no, of course, <clears throat> and then showed me her new boyfriend and her uh, had pictures on her desk. I lost my mind. I wasn't taking showers, I was on the Navy ship, I wasn't brushing my teeth, I wasn't shaving, I wasn't getting haircuts, nothing. I was stinking, I was funky. When those tables turn, narcissistic people are not fit to deal with it. So you put strict measures, measurements in place, strict, strict safety precautions in place to your brother, your uncle, your father, your mother, your sister, co your co-workers. Leon is popping up. Leon is calling me. My ex-girlfriend years ago, I called her mother over a hundred times. She told me, Leon, you got to stop calling me so much. She's gone. You pushed her away. I couldn't understand. I didn't want to hear that. They're going to call you. They're going to pop up. They're going to park by your car. They're going to come to your job. They're going to come to the gym. They're going to come to the grocery store. You have to put safety precautions in place. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your children. You have to protect your family. When a narcissistic person gets that narcissistic injury, and y'all talk about it, we are not equipped to deal with it. So we're, we're emotionless. We're looking around for help. And now the devil been getting us to go cheat and have a supply and do this and do that and curse you out and put you down. When it happens, when God turns the tables, the devil gone. You look like, yo, yo, Diablo, where you at? Gone by yourself. Narcissistic people are not accustomed. They're not used to being alone. That's why we have supply. We are dependent on other people. We are addicted to other people. We are addicted to the praise, the handshakes, the hugs. But when the carpet is stripped from up, from up under us, we're on shaky ground again. Back to how our childhood was, looking for people to help us. Put safety things in place. Tell your neighbor, the police department, the fire department, because that narcissist person at that moment in time, when, when you get away and you, your, your life is beautiful and you're doing what you're doing, they should be in therapy or the psych ward. I should have been in the psych ward as a kid for sure, but I should have been in the psych ward at 24, 25 years old when I was dating, when I was stalking my ex-girlfriend, but I didn't do it. I didn't stalk her to hurt her. I stalked her because I wanted the answers. Why did you leave me? But I pushed her away. Sometimes they're gonna stalk you to hurt you so you can't date and move on. Protect yourself, change your locks. 
Have people around you. Tell your neighbors. You got to be very, very safety. Safe, safe, safe. You got to be very safe conscious. You do. That's all I can tell you about that. Let your family know. Let your friends know. And don't play with the narcissist the person once they're hurt. Don't give them false hope because they'll hold on to it. Oh, 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 she likes me again. She loves me again. We'll get back together. No. Once it's over, it's over. If they try to get you back, it's to hurt you even more. Okay? Put safety precautions in place. Tell your family, your friends, your coworkers. Don't answer phone calls. Don't answer text messages. Don't answer emails. When you leave your house, watch yourself. Be very, very vigilant, please. Only thing that stopped me from going overboard, overboard is because I was in the Navy and I didn't want to ruin my naval career. Some of these people get to a point where their heart, the narcissist person, heart is broken and nothing will stop them from getting back at you or trying to get you or contacting you. Nothing. There's nothing in place. There's nothing for them to lose. I had a lot to lose. All right, y'all have a great day.